Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado, and we're here to talk about a different way to do a Christmas tree. We're here with Mike. He is a member of our nursery staff and a certified arborist, yep. and he has picked out this nice little tree for those who want to have a live Christmas tree indoors briefly mm -hmm. and then outdoors. In the middle of winter, you can plant this outdoors. Absolutely, yeah. Special That's techniques, fun. what would you do? Uh, as far as technique, uh, just plant the tree a little high. I'd recommend that uh, for any tree uh, year-round. Just plant it a little high, make sure the root ball does not dry out, and it's going to do fine. What are some of the do's and don'ts about taking a tree like this indoors for a brief period of time? Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest concerns are, number one, you don't want to let the root ball dry out, uh, and then also you don't want to keep the tree inside for too long. Uh, because of the warmer temperatures, the tree kind of starts thinking it's June and it'll start growing. And then you, at that point, you really can't take it back outside uh, into the colder temperatures. So how many days? What's a good guideline? Uh, the maximum, I would say, is seven days. Five is better. You know, the shorter the better, basically. But I definitely wouldn't go beyond seven days inside. So bring it in a few days before Christmas. Give yourself a day or two and then get this guy out in the yard somewhere. Yeah, it, it's, it's a little longer process. It does help to acclimate the tree. Uh, when you take it uh, from outside, uh, you may keep it in the garage for a couple days to sort of help acclimate it and then take it inside uh, into the warmer temperatures in your house. I would say the same for when you take it back outside. You may, when you're done with the tree inside as a Christmas tree, put it back into the garage for a few days, uh, let it acclimate into that cooler temperature in the garage, and then at that point, take it outside and plant it. And so. while trees like this are inside, lights, decorations, all that's okay? It's okay. Um, I would try to maybe minimize the size of the light and the number of lights, because that provide the lights will provide additional heat which will warm the tree up and uh, you know, potentially cause it to start you know, opening buds and, and growing. So. And how do people need to water this when it's indoors? We have 68, 70 degrees right. indoors, not exactly what these trees are looking forward to in winter. Exactly. Um, just, you'll, you may just want to do the, the old finger test and kind of feel around the root ball. Um, moisture meters are ideal. Uh, you can just kind of plug the moisture meter into the tree. It's going to tell you how quickly the tree is drying out. Uh, a smaller tree this size inside the house, I imagine you probably have to water it at least twice a week, maybe three times a week, depending on your temperature. Yeah. Okay, so Christmas has come and gone. Mm -hmm. We have taken the tree out to put it in the garage for a little bit of a transition period. Right. Did you do some work on a hole in case we have weather like we do today? Absolutely. It is smart uh, to dig the hole beforehand. Uh, in case uh, the ground is frozen or, or freezes you know, before Christmas. Uh, locally in Colorado, the ground will typically freeze in that late December to early January uh, window of time. So yeah, dig your hole maybe November, early December, have it ready for the tree. It, uh, you know, at that point, the work is done and you can just put it right in the hole when you plant it. Mike is going to take this beautiful fat Albert outside. He's done some work on a hole, and we're going to see how you can have a live Christmas tree in your house briefly over the holidays, and then have this beauty growing in your yard come next spring. Do not forget a very important part of this whole idea of keeping a live tree in your home briefly. Products like Wilt Proof, their pine resin, you spray the tree while it's going into your garage initially. Get those needles nice and wet. This will help keep it from drying out tree moves into the house, dry, dry Colorado house conditions, this stuff helps, moves back out, and now Mike is ready to plant our tree, and it looks gorgeous. Great spot. Yep. What are you doing here to prepare this? Well, I've basically dug the hole just as I would in the spring or summer. It's uh, two to three times the width of the root ball, uh, and I know it's hard to, to see from the camera, but the top of this root ball is slightly above my, my original soil grade here, so I'm planting it a little high, basically. So that water doesn't bit pool exactly. in there. Yeah, okay. it helps the water to drain off the roots, um, and uh, it helps the uh, tree to get oxygen, basically. So. And this time of year, it's not going to want to take off and grow that root system so much. Correct. Yeah. Right? So yeah. backfilling it with the native soil? Yeah, absolutely. If you have a horribly heavy clay soil, you may incorporate some organics, uh, just the general compost. Um, but uh, for the most part, just use your native soil and it's going to be fine. Great. Yeah. We're going to let Mike finish planting this tree. 
He does the work, I do the talking at some point. This is such a great way to get kind of double bang for your buck. A live Christmas tree goes into your yard when everything is all done and said, and you will have a beautiful specimen to enhance your landscape next spring. So we will come back. We'll let Mike go in out of the cold shortly. We'll come back next spring, see what this tree looks like. I guarantee you, it will be a winner. Come and see us at Tagal Gardens. We have some great holiday growing ideas. We would love to share the holiday spirit with you.